2018 president. Welcome to this month's President's Corner. July is the peak of the summer selling season. I know you're busy, so keeping things simple this month, here are the top five things ABOR members need to know for July. Calling all high performers, community leaders, and industry movers and shakers. Applications for the Austin Board of Realtors Industry Awards are now open. This year, we're excited to partner with Platinum Top 50, allowing you to apply for two awards at the same time. That's right. Now when you apply for a PT50 award, you're also applying for an ABOR Industry Award. Applications are open through August 31st. For more information on award categories and how to apply, check out the President's Corner blog on abor.com. So good luck. Central Texas Realtors, NAR needs your help. Join me in urging Congress to renew our National Flood Insurance Program before it expires on July 31st. Last year's devastating impact of Hurricane Harvey, as well as the Memorial Day and Onion Creek floods here in Austin, have showed Central Texans how critical flood insurance is to home ownership. Not having flood insurance for some can mean losing their home. If the National Flood Insurance Program is allowed to expire, homeowners in 20,000 communities nationwide will be denied necessary coverage. Let's not let our neighbors go without. Act now at texasrealestate.com action. Global real estate activity in Austin isn't just a growing trend, it's here to stay. Join me for a special event, ABOR's inaugural Global Day, on Wednesday, July 25th. Global Day is packed with insights from global real estate experts, including our 2018 Global Forum in the morning, followed by lunch and expert roundtable sessions in the afternoon. Remember, this event is free for ABOR members. On August 1st, two important changes are coming to the ABOR MLS. The first is the removal of coming soon status. The ABOR board felt that the coming soon was subject to misuse and confusion, which created unintended disorder in the marketplace. Ultimately, this decision was made to ensure the data in the MLS is used fairly, is held to the highest data quality standards, and creates an orderly marketplace. The second change is the removal of centralized showing service, or CSS scheduler, as an MLS benefit. This decision is a direct result of member feedback that the CSS scheduler was not the right showing service for ABOR. But if you like CSS, you're not out of luck. Matrix will remain compatible with CSS and subscribers have until August 1st to sign up with CSS directly. There are more details on both of these decisions on ABOR.com. Please check out my President's Corner blog to learn more. Finally, I invite you to join me and Texas Association of Realtor Leaders at the Texas Realtors 360 Conference at ABOR on Friday, July 27th. This is your chance to get a statewide perspective on what's happening in our industry, as well as engage and share feedback directly with local and state leaders. Tickets are only $15 each and they're limited, so register for this event and learn more about all the initiatives in this video on the President's Corner blog on ABOR.com. Well, guys, that's all for now. I'm going to leave you with one of my favorite quotes. When you focus in on problems, you'll have more problems. When you focus in on possibilities, you'll have more opportunities. Thank you for joining me and focusing in on the many opportunities ahead for ABOR and for Central Texas real estate. It's been a great year so far, and I'm excited to see what the rest of 2018 will bring. Thanks again. Thank you.